So welcome. Uh, this question five. Expand in Fourier series the function f of x equals to x squared from minus pi to pi, and hence use the series to find the value of this other series one minus one over two squared plus one over three squared plus one over four squared plus one over five squared minus etc. Now, the difference between this problem and question two uh, is because of the interval of definition. If we draw this graph, then we realize that it is of this form. So this is minus pi, uh, this is pi. So therefore, this is an even function. So remember, the difference in the question two was that the function was still f, f of x. f of x equals to x squared but then the interval was from 0 to 2 pi so this was not even because we don't have negative values for x and positive values for x in the interval of definition. But here we have both negative and positive, which is symmetric. So therefore, this function, uh, with this given interval or limits, then it's taken to be an even function and we expand using the cosine uh, expansion. So we see, so this question, that's question four. F of x is even in the interval minus pi. So hence, the Fourier series of this function is yet the cosine Fourier series. So then now our a naught will be given by 2 over pi, 0 to pi. And then the function is x squared dx, which will give us 2 over pi into x cubed over 3. When you work out, you get 2 pi squared over 3. A n will be 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi x squared cosine of n x dx. When you use integration by parts twice, you get minus 4 over n pi 0 to pi and then x sine nx dx and then the second step this other part will be minus 4 over pi n squared into x cos nx 0 to pi and then minus this still a n 4 over pi n squared 0 to pi and then cosine of nx dx. Now on simplification, this one will give us a n equals to 4 over n squared cosine 
of n pi, which is the same as minus 1 over n of 4 over n squared. So this is just integration by parts. So do that one to confirm that this is the solution. So uh, since, now just since the function is even, then bn equals to zero. So we don't have to work it out. And then, so an, Uh, by the given equation, uh, given uh, given value. So remember, this works for all values of n. So therefore, the Fourier series for f of x equals to x squared in the interval minus pi. to pi is x squared equals to pi squared over three, because now our a n was two pi, or a naught was two pi squared over three, so divided by two, we get this, minus or plus summation n one infinity of minus one, and then our n, 4 over n squared, and then cosine of nx. So which can be written as x squared equals to pi squared over 3 minus uh, 4 into, so when n is 1, or maybe before I write that, let's just write some few terms to see how the Actualization is coming in. So when n is 1, so we'll have negative 4 cos x. When n is 2, we'll have positive 4 and then cosine of 2x over 2 squared, n3 minus 4 cos 3x over 3 squared and then uh, n equals to 4 will be plus four cosine of 4x over 4 squared 5 is odd so negative uh, 4 cos 5x over 5 squared and then plus 4 cos 6x over 6 squared minus several terms. So which can just be written as x squared is a function is pi squared over 3 minus 4 into bracket. So this will be now cos x. Now this will be now minus cos 2x over 2 squared now this will be plus cos 3x over 3 squared because of factored minus this will be minus cos 4x over 4 squared this will be plus cos 5x over 5 squared minus cos 6x over 6 squared plus several terms of the same pattern. So this is the Fourier cosine, a Fourier, a Fourier series of the function given in the specified interval. But then uh, we were to get the value of this series, 1 minus a 1 over 2 squared, 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, plus 1 over 3 squared, minus 1 over 4 squared, plus 1 over 5 squared, minus etc. So you see what give, gives us this 
say this is the trigonometric part. So uh, the first term of trigonometric part is cos of x. So the value that gives us one is when x equals to zero. So set x equals to zero, then we have all the numerators will be one because it'll be cosine of zero. So we'll have uh, x squared, we put zero, so zero squared equals to pi squared over three minus four into one minus one over two squared plus one over three squared minus one over four squared plus one over five squared minus etc. So this means make this on the subject one minus one over two squared plus one over three squared minus one over four squared plus one over five squared minus will be pi squared over three and then times the reciprocal of that one, which is one over four. So that uh, when you multiply, you get this one as pi squared over 12. So pi squared over 12, this is the required solution for that problem. So that is how we solve question 